Hi, this is chapter 5 of the first SARS tutorial. Uh, this is wrapping up uh, on the, the case submission and we are going to look at how this pops up onto your dashboard and how uh, you can view a, a completed case um, which will go to a demo case where all the other fields filled in by the case officer have been completed. Okay, let's continue. So we, we completed our case. We can go back to our dashboard and you recall we set ourselves as the consultant in this case which is why it's listed under my projects okay there are various uh, lists uh, there's a status flag over here and I, if I chose one of HIA pending for instance and hit apply this should disappear because the case is not in that uh, flag status at the moment the case as you know is under received because we just created it and the case officers haven't attended to that case yet Okay. Once the case officer has processed uh, certain aspects of the case, you will see the case listed under pending and an assessment. If it's going to a committee, it will sit under on a gender status. If the uh, the case officer has requested um, an impact assessment from you, they will have sent you a letter and they will have changed the status of the case to HIA pending. Uh, if you've submitted the HIA, the status goes to HIA received and then finally the case officer will have made a decision uh, and this decision may or may not be subject to appeal and if return to applicant status is uh, logged they will have sent you a message indicating the um, deficiencies in the information or something wrong with your application um, and for noting is a field type used for general uh, items where there's not much uh, of the process that has been followed above it might be a, a report on an, on an incident where um, no decision was required or any impact assessments um, that was simply logged for noting and finally the case is closed okay if you're the applicant and you uh, put your name under the applicant section, you will see the cases listed in this section and you can flip back to the case by clicking on the hyperlink. Okay, very easy. Right, under the uh, explore options now, you will see the my content uh, is relevant and this gives you the content types you've created. So you've created John Demo and Joe Smith. Uh, you can edit those and correct them if the information changes. Uh, your profile, for instance, is a, a person type and you can edit the uh, address details as you move yourself. And the Flamingo Flare Farm is the case that we created and it shows us the type of content type. Over time, you will have quite a lot of uh, content listed here so you can filter out things. So we might only be interested in heritage cases and we can list them there. Uh, we could pull out any again and we can s choose the published or unpublished options. This will only happen when you're looking at something uh, where a case officer for instance has unpublished a node uh, like a person's contact information. Um, there might be a dispute around some node and uh, but this will not normally apply to you. Um, the uh, title you can filter out as well, so you might specify John and let's take out demo and this should filter out John in the list. Okay, uh, under explore you also have the option to explore cases or reports um, and let's uh, deal with those in chapter 6. Um, but worth noting is if you go to cases, um, you will see your case listed here. You would pick your authority and remember we called our case Flamingo. Let's just use part of the name, hit apply and there's your case. So this will bundle it with all the other um, cases that have been logged on the system. Um, you have the right to view other cases as well but not edit any other case besides the ones you've created yourself. Um, and the view t view count is listed as well. So if we refresh this with all the cases listed, you can see the demo case in the system has got a thousand views at this stage. Which, uh, it's been used over and over again, and it groups the cases by the uh, uh, relevant heritage authorities dealing with the case. Okay, um, let's go to the demo case to see a full case. 
Um, right, this is Moira case, again is a dummy case, um, similar to the one you created. Um, it has a heritage report linked to it, it has more references, um, it has attached documents, and it has permits and decisions. Um, the case officers will determine what kind of comment or decision they are making and that will indicate, uh, be indicated in the column to the right next to the date of the decision. Um, and this guides you, you should see a fairly linear sequence of decisions leading up to a final decision on the matter uh, or final comment. Um, let's go to one of these um, and you will view the text on the decision, the uh, context, whether it was made by a committee or under delegations of powers, perhaps the case officer themselves, that might be the case where the letter is issued to you, um, the relevant sections of the Act, the National Heritage Resources Act that apply, um, and the case is linked back, so if we click on that link, it takes us straight back to the case. So let's go back again. Okay, and then the case type, uh, or the decision type rather, uh, is listed there as well. Okay, when the case officers have finalized a decision, they'll upload a PDF to the, the case so that you can view the signed and final version of the decision or letter. Um, let's have a look and see uh, if we can pull out one where it has been uploaded. Okay, um, here I've edited the case in my Heritage Officer profile and I've uploaded the ROD um, to the case and refreshed this. So uh, there's the PDF available for download which would indicate that the case is, um, this, this decision is completed. Um, and the take note of the status, so it decisions might have multiple components to them, uh, this might be an interim phase if you like in the in the development application, um, so that is indicated by the decision status, so um, but all you're after usually is the PDF and there it is for view. Um, okay, and each PDF includes the case ID, the unique case ID, the relevant contact information of the case officer, and then the full references of all the heritage authorities dealing with the matter. So in this case we had a SARA number and we had a Heritage Western Cape demo number, um, and then below um, we had the Department of Environmental Affairs and Development Planning references as well. So those are all listed automatically on every single uh, official piece of correspondence going forward um, and the whoever was listed in the applicant field is uh, the, uh, the relevant person to whom the uh, decision or letter is addressed. Okay, right, so let's go back and let's have a look at um, one or two other little features. Uh, the calendar gives you all the meetings that have been set uh, on the system and those are automatically pulled through to our calendar um, so you can see various meetings um, of these committees will take place on this date. Um, the, uh, <coughs> the reports and cases dashboards we'll deal with in chapter 6. Uh, the last thing that's worth noting is the subscriptions. Um, you're allowed to subscribe to a content type or a thread um, for comments, so uh, this will send you notifications via your email address uh, when certain things change. Um, we're still working on a lot of this, but you'll see a lot of changes and uh, new features in the subscriptions module, um, but we've kept it up there for, for now, so you, you're able to subscribe to certain events on the system. Um, most of the communication between you and a case officer, since you're an applicant, will take place via the messaging system or their standard email. Uh, the messages will automatically pull through to your account and when you have new messages you will receive notifications on your email address that there are messages waiting for you on Cyrus. Right, let's conclude the tutorial there. To go back to the uh, home page, simply click on the home button and this will take you back to the SARA homepage. You'll notice you, you are still logged in and the SARAS button appears and this is hidden from view unless you are logged in to the website. Um, 
Okay, and the uh, worth noting as well is all our reports uh, content um, are uh, uploaded and downloaded in terms of the Creative Commons license. You can read more on this uh, by following the link. Um, so any content downloaded uh, on Cyrus um, is available for sharing, but uh, it must be referenced um, and uh, these conditions do apply um, to all the work. There is certain content on Cyrus which is copyrighted and we have indicated that in our terms and reference under the disclaimer. Um, so uh, our logos for instance and things like that we are, are not f uh, shareable under the terms of the Creative Commons license. Um, and uh, there's more information about processes and what we do and, uh, under the homepage links. Uh, my name again is Nick Wilshire. Um, I'm available at SARA on 021 462 4502 or my email address nwilshire at sara.org.za. But please try and use the messaging system to your case officers for day to day inquiries uh, as I only deal with um, development issues or problems in the system. Thank you.